deep fields play a crucial role in data visualization and analysis. In Looker Studio, we can identify a deep field by looking at the data type in the data source configuration. At the property panel, click the edit icon on the left of the data source name. Under the type, you can see all the data types for each field. For example, we can see that this field is recognized as a date data type. Usually, Looker Studio will recognize date in your data source and identify it as a date or date time data type. However, in some cases, the dates were not recognized properly. You may manually change the data type in the same editing window. Simply click on the data type and select the correct data type for the field. In some occasions, this might not be the solution due to several reasons, which I'm not going to confuse you at this stage, but we're going to cover in the later sections. For now, just know that this is the place that you're going to check the data type of your data. Also, it is very important to check on your data sources, data type, when you first import the data. And here is the place to do that. This is to make sure that all the fields has correct data types. But why do we need to do that? Well, this fields has a very special set of functionalities. These functions can only be used when the data type is set to date or date time. This is often the case in many business intelligence tools out there, such as Tableau and Power BI. So the same applied to Looker Studio. So what are the special benefits we get with a date field? First, the automatic date hierarchy drill down feature. When you use a date field in visualization, in this example, a time series line chart, Looker Studio will automatically generate the date hierarchy when you enable the drill down function. This date time hierarchy is the default settings. This feature allows users to easily navigate through different levels of granularity, such as year, year month, and date. For example, users can view the yearly trend, then drill down to monthly view, and later, drill down again to the daily view to gain deeper insights. So this is the first special feature that you get with a date field. Second, we will get date specific filter options. Looker Studio provides a specific filter just for the date fields. This is known as date range control. These filters make it super easy and convenient for the users to apply date conditions to the report. For example, you can easily filter the data by selecting specific date ranges or relative time periods. For example, last seven days, this month, last month, this year, and even define custom ranges for a specific use case. Next, with a date field, you will also get date specific formatting options. You can format the date field into a different date format such as year or quarter or week of day easily without any need to write a formula. This can be done with just a few clicks, no formula, and it is super easy and make your reporting a breeze. Last but not least, we have date functions for these date fields. Looker Studio offers a range of date functions that allow the developers to manipulate dates in the data source. These functions can be applied directly to the date fields to perform calculations, to extract specific date components, to add or subtract time intervals, and many more. This will allow the developers to manipulate dates data within Looker Studio to derive meaningful insights to the business. In conclusion, date fields in Looker Studio are essential for effective data visualization and analysis. By correctly identifying and setting the data type as a date or date time, we could leverage all the features and functionalities that come with the data type and build a data-driven dashboard in Looker Studio.